Well, g'day, St. Andrews. It's Mal York here, and it's Wednesday, the 31st of August. Just bringing you your weekly news. Well, friends, this Sunday we conclude our series in 1 Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel 7. We're going to be looking at if you want to have a look at it beforehand. And um, uh, Scott Warner is going to be speaking to us for the first time. Wasn't it wonderful to welcome the Warner family last week? We are so thankful that they're here uh, to do ministry amongst us. And so please come along this Sunday uh, to uh, hear this last series in 1 Samuel. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll actually pick up uh, again with 1 Samuel next year, um, but we'll stop it uh, for now. Um, 8.30, 10.30, 5 o'clock and 6.30 p.m. Uh, obviously, if you are feeling unwell, if you've got uh, sick symptoms um, or you're needing to isolate, um, uh, let me encourage you to stay at home, watch the online uh, at 10.30. Uh, friends, this uh, Sunday is also Father's Day, so uh, your kids might be saying to you, what do you want to do for Father's Day, Dad? Well, um, bring them to church. Say, hey kids, uh, I'd love you to come to church with me and, uh, and celebrate Father's Day as we gather around the throne of God together. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, so please invite your kids, tell them to come. Uh, for the next two weeks after that, we have our Doubt Your Doubt series. Uh, I sent out last week an invitation that you can be sending to your uh, family or friends. P please be praying for them. Please be inviting them. Uh, come along and um, help them to hear the good news uh, of the gospel. Uh, we're so thankful for John and his ministry uh, for the past 21, 22 years amongst us here. Uh, it'll be sad to uh, see him, Buff and Josie head off. Uh, but we will farewell them on the 18th of September as well. So please can, uh, plan to come on that day as well. Uh, friends, on the 14th and the 21st of September, 7.30 in the evening, we've got our pre-vision nights. Uh, really important nights in the life of uh, our church as we think about uh, where we aim to go uh, as a church, uh, not only uh, for next year, but for the years to come. Uh, we haven't been talking much about vision in the past uh, few years because of COVID and all of that. We've, we've had, talked about it a bit, but not much. And I really want to uh, get into this more, get behind the vision here and really get this ministry uh, continuing to do the wonderful work that it's been doing for so many years on the site here at St Andrews. Um, so please be praying about that. Please plan to come and join us for that. Please also be playing, praying for our Revive Mission Nights uh, this Friday night and the Friday after. Uh, Revive has been going gangbusters, which we praise God for. Uh, and this is an opportunity for um, our youth to continue to hear the good news of the Lord Jesus uh, and to invite their friends uh, to come along. So please be praying for them as they do and for the speakers uh, as they come and speak um, uh, to the kids uh, over the next two weeks. Uh, and finally, friends, just a reminder about that um, uh, Roseville Fair that's coming up. Uh, we're looking for volunteers to help out. Uh, Mel sent an email to the whole church about that uh, where you can sign up through that app. Uh, it would be wonderful having as many people as possible serving the community here and uh, so that people can see the good works that St Andrew is uh, doing uh, amongst the community here as well. Uh, well, that's all your news for today, but I hopefully will see you uh, this Sunday at uh, one of the services. Uh, until then, take care and God bless.